The wait is over. Time to find out what happened in our playoff final with Scotland. Could Ireland make it to the Euros? Or to another major competition? Yes, hello there everybody, welcome back to the channel, Dodgy Gamer here, international manager of mystery, managing obscure nations so you don't have to. And before we get into today's episode, the usual reminder that this is your one-stop shop for all things international management on Football Manager, so make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, get the bell on for notifications so you don't miss any of the international action. No need for any build-up on this Judgment Day. We are potentially 90 minutes away from the Euros. Let's see how we got on. Here we go then, Scotland. What stands between this island team and a trip to the Euros? We're getting right into the action. Let's see if we can pull off an unlikely away win. Miles intercepts it. He made his debut against Austria. One man of the match. Is he going to win something here? Is he going to win a penalty? It's gone. Has it gone to VAR? I think it has. Are we going to get the penalty? Come on. We've got it. We've got the penalty in the first minute. Oh, wow. Ida's going to take it and he scored it. Oh, get in. I was worried he was going to miss that. What a dream start. How about that? Penalty in the first minute. Oh, calmly tucked away by Ida. So, good calls there, I think. Bringing Miles into the team and then bringing Ida in for this match. It's worked for us already. Right, let's see if we can add a second here. Oh, good tracking back from Adara Mola. Oh, I'll have to practice saying that name if we get through to the Euros. But Scotland on the counter. Oh, Moanza. Oh, I think... No, no, come on, don't give this one, this is going to VAR as well, but I think that was a good tackle, I know I'm biased, but I think that was a good tackle, no, they've given the penalty, well at least we didn't get the sending off, but damn, they scored it, tale of two penalties so far, maybe penalties are going to feature later on in this clash, who knows. Yeah, damn, 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 damn. Oh, and we're straight back into it from the kickoff. Adaramola, lawless, come on, let's get it in. It's out to Adaramola again, lawless again. Oh, what a strike, what a save. <sighs> that was close. Come on, let's get... Oh, no, 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 no. We don't want the counter-attack here. Moanza's dropped deep for Scotland. Gets hacked down by Miles. What a guy Miles is. He's everywhere. Right then, 15 minutes to go. Is this going to be settled late, or are we going to go to extra time? Well, maybe this highlight could determine that. Thompson, already booked. Fantastic. McSweeney plays a long ball through, but luckily we pick up the clearance. Finity. Out to Ida. Ida, scorer of the penalty. Gets it to Miles. Nearly, nearly. Come on, we're still on. We're still on here. Ooh. Adara Mola went for something fancy. Didn't quite work. Man. Extra time looms. Just a minute left in normal time. Might be stoppages as well. We'll see what happens. But it's Island coming forward again. And, oh, it almost fell for Lawless. And now uh, we've got Scotland coming on the counter-attack. Come on. Thompson's got himself sent off. Oh, uh, man. It was inevitable. Bloody hell. Thompson. What an idiot. Right. How about that, eh? We got off to a great start with that early penalty. But we have lost our discipline a bit. We've given away a penalty. We've had a man sent off. We've had six players booked as well. Maybe I should do what old lady plays always tells me to do. And I should untick get stuck in. Ten minutes to go. Corner for Ireland. Lawless. McSweeney. Come on. Let's get something out of this. 
Come on, come on, don't give the ball away in a stupid position, though. Whatever you do. Scotland, look at that, leaving two players up. They're looking for... Ooh, did you see that back heel? Now that's getting a bit flashy. Okay, we've kept hold of the ball, though, at least. Finity, no, now we've lost it. No, Moanza's through, and he's just dinked it over the keeper. Ah, uh, no. The numbers advantage has worked in Scotland's favour. Can we do it? Can we get back into this? There's going to be a final highlight. Oh, there's one minute left on the clock, but we've given the ball away to the Scots, and they're ju they've just got too much space. They're knocking it about for fun, and they've scored. Damn. Ah, so it was not to be. Not this time. We went to that extra time period, but that red card cost us. And look at the brazen cheek of the guy who got said red card. Hoping he impressed enough to stay in the team. Not likely, Matty. Not while I'm in charge. Luckily, the Irish FA were understanding despite us falling short of our target of reaching the finals. So, what now? Luckily, I, I knew a few nice resorts in Trinidad where we could head for some team bonding and summer sun. And then it would be back for... The Nations League. We were in a Division B group with Bosnia, Greece and Romania. And we would be looking to get promoted to the top tier. Belgium would win the Euros, beating Denmark in the final. Scotland would have a good run, qualifying unbeaten from a tough-looking Group F before losing to the Netherlands in the second round. There was a tempting job offer after the Euros as Spain came calling, but it felt like too big a jump, for the moment at least, if you'll excuse the possible foreshadowing. I had to prove myself with Ireland first as we headed to Bosnia for our Nations League opener, which we won at a canter. Thanks to a penalty from Ida, a volley from Eddie Miles, and a bit of a scramble from Finity in a 3-1 away win. An even bigger result was to come at home to Romania a few days later, thanks to an early goal from Lawless. Ida missed his penalty this time, but no worries as that man Miles popped up again in first half stoppage time. Miles would supply the pass for Finity to score a third, question marks over the keeper though. And everyone's favourite non-new-gen Irish talent Troy Parrott finished off the scoring with a fine strike. We routed the Romanians 4-0, meaning just two games in, we were in a strong position, especially as the next international window would see us play twice at home. An early goal against Greece, courtesy of Reddy, suggested another easy night, but we were soon pegged back by the Greeks' wonderkid striker, Bounas. Things almost got worse with a Greek penalty, but luckily for us, it bounced off the post and went wide. And it was one-way traffic after that, as Ida showed them how it's done from the penalty spot. And Miles finished his evening with a well-taken brace. Our winning streak would be broken, though, in the next game, as Bosnia held us to a 1-1 draw in Dublin. A result that prevented us from wrapping up the group with two games to spare. That would all be sorted the following month on our trip to Athens, though, as a goal from Lawless was enough for the win. We were promoted then to Division A, and a 2-1 win in our final match against Romania merely confirmed our superiority. Moving into the new year, our attention would turn to World Cup qualifying. Bosnia would be familiar opponents, Faroe Islands would provide a goal difference buffer, potentially, but Turkey and Serbia, they would be tough opponents. We got off to a solid start against Bosnia, picking up the win that was denied to us a few months earlier in the Nations League. And we survived Istanbul with a board draw that I was actually more than happy with. An early goal in our next game, that man Miles again with the assist, proved enough to get a huge three points from Serbia. And the table made for some pleasant summer reading. Qualifying resumed in the new season with a by now all too familiar foe, Bosnia, who we would be playing for the fourth time in the last year. And that familiarity showed as the two sides cancelled each other out in another nil-nil draw. 
Our first win on the road in this campaign came where else but in the Faroe Islands. Brian McCabe running riot with four goals in a 6-1 win that came about despite playing the second half with 10 men. Those results meant we had a slender lead over Turkey at the top of the table. They had a game in hand though, meaning that our next games against the Turks at home and Serbia away would be massive. Massive enough to warrant some stream highlights? Don't worry, we've got you covered. Island Turkey. Absolutely massive World Cup qualifier this one. A win will set us on our way. Ooh, ready. Crunching tackle. Sets up the counter-attack for us. Kavanaugh. Ready. Finity. Come on. One of you should have had a shot there. Adara Mola is going to get the cross in. And Kavanaugh gets the goal. Oh, less than two minutes on the clock. And we are 1-0 up. That's exactly what we wanted to happen. Oh, I was a bit worried that they, they were just being too cautious there. No one took the shot, but they knew they knew there would be a better position coming up. Fantastic. Right, good stuff. McCabe holds it up for Wilson. Corcoran Miles wins the penalty. Oh, yes. Come on. Let's make this count. We've got to convert this one. Who's taking it? Who's taking it? It's Caulfield. And he sends the keeper the wrong way. 2-0. Yes, we are. Oh, this is exactly what we wanted from this game. Now we just got to make sure over the next 70 minutes, we see it out. Come on, there's a goal here. I can feel it. Oh, but no, it's going to be a goal for Turkey. No, no. Oh, great tackle. Oh, that was just ridiculous. The last ditch tackle was exactly what was needed. But why did the goalkeeper hesitate? Is it because he thought it was a back pass? There's no referee is going to count that as a back pass. So just dive on it. Ah, oh, damn. Good. Here we go. Wilson out to the man, Miles. Miles has got Cochran with him, but he doesn't need him. He Okay, he does. Finity. Get in. Get in. There we go. That's what we were talking about. Two goal lead restored. Oh, okay. We can relax a bit now. And look at that, at the same time, Bosnia have equalised against Serbia. That's huge. If both Turkey and Serbia fail to win today, that's going to be huge in this group. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. I saw I saw it go up. Bosnia, Serbia 1, Bosnia 1. And now I'm seeing Serbia 4, Bosnia 1. As McCabe goes close again. Okay, obviously uh, there was a flurry of goals in that match. All the in-game score updates are running particularly slowly. Right, Miles McCabe. Oh, Miles, good claim for another penalty there, I think. Stoppage time. I think we're going to win this. No way Turkey is scoring two now. There we go. Three, one. We win. Oh, that's huge for our chances of qualifying for the World Cup. Never in doubt what a night for the irish supporters and that meant the game in hand was no longer a threat serbia were now the team to watch now i was planning to bring you the highlights from our trip to belgrade except that there weren't any like literally none another nil nil draw on the road but a crucial one serbia and turkey were still to play each other and as long as turkey didn't win we would simply have to beat the Faroe Islands at home to advance. Serbia held up their end of the bargain, going temporarily top of the table. And surely we couldn't muck this one up, could we? Right, here we go. Island against the Faroe Islands. What a great position to be in. We win, we go to the World Cup. Simple as that. Adara Mola gets the cross in. It's a penalty. Oh, Dara Lynch is going to take the penalty. The youngster making his debut. And they've put him on penalty-taking duty. Okay. Well, okay, we'll take it. Thank you very much, Dara Lynch. Welcome to the island team. Oh, here we go. Hoey coming forward. Kavanaugh cuts inside. Miles! Oh, Eddie Miles. He's been the hero of our time in charge of Ireland so far. Couldn't score here, though. 
This could be the second goal coming here. Adara Mola. No, he gets dispossessed, of course. When we played Fair Islands away, they scored early in the second half. They nearly do the same here. Ooh, luckily for us, nobody went with him. There we go. Brian McCabe. He loves to score against the Faroe Islands. Oh, another penalty. Dara Lynch gets the chance to add a second. Come on, son. Make yourself a hero. Oh, 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 there you go. Fine. The follow-up got in. Emulating James Ward-Prowse, we could say there. Oh, he got lucky, though, because, of course, if that had just bounced straight back off the post, he wouldn't have been able to touch it, but it smacked the keeper in the head, and then he was able, able to tap it in. All right. Goes down as a goal from open play, too. So people can't say we were relying on penalties. Miles. Come on, Miles. Work some magic. Finity. Oh, okay, we've we've got the players in position here. Miles Lynch. Lynch going for a hat-trick. Miles nearly. Ooh. And then a World Cup with Ireland could could be yeah, could potentially be an end point for the stream series. Ahead of FM twenty two. But we'll see. Give me a chance to catch up and, and finish off posting this series on YouTube. We'll see, though. Oh, here we go. McCabe. McCabe again. Loves to score against the Pharaohs. We said it already. A huge sigh of relief then as we got the job done. And interesting side note. With a brace in that game, Brian McCabe became our top scorer in World Cup qualifying, having scored all six goals against the Faroe Islands. Anyway, the important news was that we were on our way to World Cup 2034 in South Korea. Though I'm not sure I would class Trinidad and Tobago's Gold Cup final defeat as a disappointment, but never mind. So our next episode will be a World Cup special. If you want to know in advance who we will play, well, as usual, keep an eye out for a YouTube short. And make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you like this video and you've got the bell on for notifications so you don't miss any of the international action. But for now, thank you so much for continuing to watch this series, even as we close in on Football Manager 2022's arrival. I'm Dodgy Gamer, International Manager of Mystery, and I'll see you again soon.